Hi, I'm Molly and welcome to art class. Today we are going to be creating a monoprint with just a few items you can find around your house. Let's go! For this project you will need a styrofoam plate, tempera or acrylic paints, a pencil, masking tape, a brayer or paint brushes, black cardstock, scissors, glue, a piece of cardboard, and a tray for your paint. For a variation on your monoprint, you can experiment using different colored paper, different colored paints, or even you can create a brand new monoprint by using a different type of animal, shape, or idea as your subject. Let's go! Hi, I'm Molly. I'm Olivia. And today we are gonna make a monoprint. And we are going to take a, or a styrofoam plate that I've cut in half. Once we've drawn a fish and cut that out, we are going to attach that to a piece of cardboard. And that will become our monoprint. So let's get started. So first, we are going to draw a fish on this piece of paper. I made mine really thin, uh, longer piece of paper because it has to fit my styrofoam plate. You might use a whole plate and that's totally okay. I just cut ours in half just for conservation's sake. You may want to find a drawing of a fish. That always helps. And I like to do the outside lines first and then add the details in later. Okay, so once you have your fish, you're gonna try to line it up on your styrofoam plate as best you can. But you're gonna take a piece of tape and tape it to your styrofoam. Okay. All right, and once you, you can go ahead, Olivia, start tracing your fish. Okay, I'm gonna lift mine up and see what I got. But I'm just gonna actually cut out my fish in parts. Okay, now that you've cut out your fish, take some time to glue it down in different parts like we did. I just used a gel glue. You can use any type of glue um, that you want. and. You really, a liquid glue definitely works the best. And so you wanna press it down. You wanna make sure it's fully dry before we do this next step. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that right now. So now that you've glued it down to your cardboard, and this cardboard was just the backing of an old drawing pad that I had, or if you wanna use a cardboard box, I find that the drawing pad and sketch pads have a very strong backing that I really like to use. So. If you can find that, that would be great. So Olivia has a brayer. You can use a foam brayer if you want. Um, you can use a paintbrush. These are rubber brayers that they actually do use in printmaking. And so we are gonna take just some temper paint and we just roll our brayer in it, try to get it all the way around, but to where it's pretty even. So go ahead, Libby, you can try to get some on yours. Try to roll it all the way around first, yeah. And we're just gonna roll it over top of the fish. Okay, and now we are gonna take this cardboard, and this is gonna come out backwards, so don't be upset, because <laughs> you turn it, and just like a mirror, it comes out a mirror image. We're gonna press down with our fist, hold it with one hand, and just rub, 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 rub. Okay. And we're gonna try to pull straight off. So if you need to peel it off like that, 
Okay. All right. So we have a our white fish on black paper. These could even be bubbles. Don't worry if there's little dots around it. You could even take a paintbrush and draw little bubbles. I hope you enjoyed making a monoprint with us. Keep creating. Keep making art. And see you next time. Hey, hey.